Mo's Garage. Good evening everyone and welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Well, this week's video is going to entail a little bit of uh, metal cutting, a little bit of TIG welding with the Everlast 210 EXT. And what I've got is I got a buddy of mine who's got a warehouse and in the corner of his warehouse he's got a little makeshift wood shop with table saw, band saw, some, some disc grinders and a drill press. And he's got one elaborate dust control system from that. They had brought this big system from a big cabinet building uh, warehouse and he's setting this thing up. So he's got some hoses run to a couple areas that he would like to have some adapters made. One of them is for his uh, table saw. And uh, that's pretty simple. It's just going to be a, you know, 7 inches by 16 inches long with a 4 inch uh, piece of pipe on it to be able to hook the hose up to. Uh, that's that's the simplest of the ones and that's going to take care of the table saw. The other he was thinking that he might want some sort of a, a, a scupper or a giant dustpan set up that he can just have set on the ground in the corner so he, when he sweeps the sawdust up and just sweeps it right into this big scupper or dustpan that it'll suck everything up into the system. So anyways that's what we're going to be doing he had given me these parts these are some parts that were left over from this uh, system when they brought it over for some other various pieces of equipment he said hey you can use these things or use um, you know make them into whatever you think we might need for this or you know, do something whatever you want to do so we're not going to use these right here um, i've got my own idea how things should be done and some of my regular viewers that uh, maybe remember two or three videos back, I, I did a shop dustpan. And uh, that's what we're going to use for the idea for the scupper system, but on a much larger scale. So with that said, let's get this project started. Alright, so I grabbed some uh, sheet metal from my scrap pile. This is a uh, 14 or 16 gauge, I'm not really certain, but... Uh, I was able to find a nice little sheet that looks like it's going to work pretty good here. And I'm just cutting the pieces out, the ones that we need. And I'm just using a, you know, cutoff blade right there. And, uh, you know, once I got everything all cut out, and I just took it, um, deburred everything with my flap disc. There's a lot of sharp edges on there. But uh, anyways, we were able to uh, get everything all ground down and shaped up. And once we did that, I got the, you know, doing the layout right here. I'm just uh, laying out for the uh, four inch round hole we got to cut in there. And then here's the layout for the giant dustpan, if you will. And uh, once I got everything all laid out, took everything over to the uh, drill press where I mounted the hole saw and uh, proceeded to start cutting things out. Now, you know, it, it gets a little bit difficult when you get a big bit like this. I, I, it takes a little bit of time and a lot of lubrication. It, the you know, drift press wanted to keep stopping on me. But, uh, hey, I was able to, uh, you know, work my way through it. Once we got that done, uh, I got a piece of 4-inch pipe right here. This is a 8-inch thick wall. And I just cut the two pieces that I need out. Um, once I got those uh, cut out, I uh, took it over to the... Uh, uh, the Yost and uh, clamped them in there and kind of deep hurt them and you know I love this vise it's got so many different features and options and uh, this one works really well for round pipe so once we got them all cleaned up look at this nice fit right here I, I was really impressed with the way that uh, worked out so that's gonna make for some good welding here so then I went ahead and I started scoring for this uh, giant dustpan and um, what I needed to, to do is put a thicker uh, cutoff wheel on there this one's about an eighth of an inch uh, uh, thick. I need that extra uh, thickness when I score it to bend so it allows this thing to bend it to 90 degrees. So that, uh, that actually worked out pretty good once I got everything all scored and, and, uh, and cut out right here. Started uh, shaping, shaping it up. You can see how easily everything once it's scored just kind of bends into position right here. At, uh, I'm really pleased with the way that worked out. Once I got everything all um, shaped up I just started tacking everything together and you can see those ears sticking up at the top of the uh, that dustpan there I ultimately uh, once I got everything tacked into position I actually welded out I, I took a grinder and I ground those down flat and, and it looked and worked much better so you know here I am I'm just clamping everything up tacking everything now I I, I I was able to fuse a lot of this 
which is uh, was what I really wanted to do. But if you don't have a perfectly tight fit, um, it's difficult to fuse things together. So uh, I had to ultimately get some filler rod in there. And, uh, you know, I have a little bit of filler rod. Everything worked out really well. I had a little bit of a time getting things propped up just right so I could weld it. You know, it's, it's important that you, you know, get everything in a comfortable position. And you can see here I fused that together pretty nicely both sides. That worked out really well. I wish I could have done the whole thing that way, but oh well. Now I'm putting the, uh, the pipe in right here, and I, I'm really excited about how that fit was. That was really nice and clean. And, and so I just got some good tacks on here and then proceeded to, to, to get this all welded out. Now, I'm not a Mr. Tig by any means, so, you know, I, I, I don't claim to be the, the, the perfect uh, welder, but, hey, I can definitely uh, um, make things work in just about everything I do, and, and these aren't too bad. Uh, they may not be the perfect welds, but, uh, hey, I, I, I'm, a, I'm okay with the way they turned out. You know, just, it, you know, trying to get this thing propped up and into a position where I could weld it comfortably uh, it became a problem as you can see I just it's all these weird angles of thing I couldn't I couldn't brace it into position to get it welded out and I struggled a little bit here but uh, you can see here I had to I actually had to get a piece of bar stock to, to rest my uh, hand on while I uh, finished up the weld right here but hey ultimately we got it done once it was done um, it didn't really I put it flat on the table and it kind of wanted to lift up a little bit. So I, I, I thought I'd get the piece of this uh, half inch angle iron and put it across the bottom on the back side and uh, tacked it into position on one side. And you can see the other side uh, it was kind of warped a little bit. So once I uh, clamped that down and welded it up, that straightened things up really nice. And that uh, it was able to sit nice and flat and prop itself up a little bit and worked out pretty good. And this is just a top piece I wanted to put on. I wanted to create, uh, you know, kind of like a like a like a tunnel. So when the uh, the dust collection vacuum is going, that when you sweep the sawdust in there, it just kind of sucks right up in there. And I, I just create a little bit of a a protective hood over the top of it. And I thought this would be uh, work out pretty good. And you know, all this stuff I do on the fly. I'm, I'm just thinking in my head as I go along. But uh, anyways, once I got that all cut out. Uh, just took the uh, flap disc and softened up the edges a little bit and much to my surprise I thought I have to do a lot of trimming with this piece right here but you'll see here in just a second that thing fit on there perfectly first time and so I was able to just uh, you know get it all tacked up and once I got it tacked up I was able to fuse a couple of the sides together here that worked out really good but uh, across the very top uh, in the back right there is a little bit bigger of a gap than what I was hoping for uh, but uh, a little bit of filler rod in there and get everything welded out turned out pretty good. So at that point I just wanted to get uh, uh, straighten up the edges right there. It, it didn't look right the way it was before so I just cut those off and kind of smooth things up a little bit and finish this piece and this one uh, this one here is done. So this is the last little piece. There's nothing much to this. This is just uh, welding the piece of uh, pipe in there and uh, that went pretty smooth. I uh, got it all tacked into position and then uh, just proceeded to weld everything out and uh, that, that went pretty good and there's the finished weld at least one of them and uh, as you can see it's not too bad for a guy that doesn't do it all the time well there's uh, there they are I had to drill some holes in there um, and I put more holes in probably I needed but I wanted a nice tight fit there so uh, and here I'm painting them up green that's the color that they had and uh, you know I wanted to get something as close as I could and all in all Turned out pretty good. I'm pretty pleased the way it turned out. All right, well, here they are. Um, project is complete. And uh, this is the simple one right here. This is just the plate that's going to go on the back of the table saw. And you can see I've got a lot of holes drilled in this right here. And the reason for that is uh, I kind of want this thing to fit nice and tight uh, up against the back of it. I don't want any air leaks or something coming out. So that's pretty simple. That's going to work. And then here's the, the giant dustpan. Uh, um, little scupper thing and uh, this should work just fine we're going to put this on the floor in the corner and he'll be able to sweep everything right into it i've got a little as you can see i got this little 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 support on the back that kind of 
lifts it up and then the hose is going to attach to this right here so okay well i'm on uh, site here of my buddy's uh building and this is what i was talking about earlier uh he's got himself a little workshop over here that uh in the corner of his uh, shop or does a lot of um, you know, miscellaneous woodwork and then this is the elaborate dust control system that i was talking about and uh, you can see there's not a lot of people that have something like this for a shop this small right here so here's the adapters that we made, and you'll be seeing where this goes. It's going to go on the floor over there. That's going to corral the sawdust that's generated by this equipment over here. And then this is the table saw uh, adapter, and this is going to go on the back of the table saw. And we're going to get all this put together so you can take a better look at what it looks like when it's complete. And maybe even give it a try. small little project but it was fun hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching don't forget to rate comment subscribe for more videos see you next time on jimbo's garage